hello everybody in this video we will be starting with the part 2 of the chapter number 4 which is introduction to charts part 2 of cmt level 1 so before watching this video make sure that you have checked the part 1 of this video in case you haven't then i've linked it in the description box below so we'll be seeing the learning objectives quickly so we'll be able to identify the variables which are plotted on the axis We'll be able to explain the differences between arithmetic and logarithmic and logarithmic scales. We'll be able to describe methods used to display volume in a chart. All right. And the last learning objective would be to discuss volume as an alternative to time on the x-axis of the chart. So these are the things which we will be seeing in this chapter. So make sure that you are making notes of whatever is essential and let's get started. So first of all, let's see something which is the multiple axis. Now what do you understand by multiple axis? Multiple axis is basically having more things on the same chart. For example, you have three to four line graphs in this what really happens is that we are able to compare three of the things together. For example, let's say that this is my CPI data, this is my PPI data, and this is my GDP deflator. So don't worry, you won't be tested on it. But by plotting three different things on the same graph, you are able to analyze it better. So by having a graph like this in which multiple things are present, you'll be able to, um, you know, get a better understanding of the same. So that is something which we had to see. Now let's see what a vertical scale is. Because line charts are often used to track long run trends in data, careful attention must be paid to the scaling on the vertical axis. Okay. So uh, when we're talking about vertical axis, we are talking about the y axis, right? Okay, now let's see what is an arithmetic scale. So we have something known as an arithmetic scale. We also have something which is known as the logarithmic scale. So what is my arithmetic scale? The price units along the vertical axis are of the same price intervals. All right. For example, if you take an example of, let's say, Chola Finance, and we're looking at this kind of graph, right? And if we go to a line chart, you can see this in two ways. You can either see it in a arithmetic scale or logarithmic scale so how am i going to see that look at this when i when i pressed on the settings right now what i'm seeing is an arithmetic scale why am i calling it as arithmetic scale because if you look at the y-axis you can see the price right 841 840 838 what is this this is the price so here we are able to see the price now if I change it to logarithmic, look at this. Okay, now I have changed it to logarithmic. So what really happens in logarithmic is that arithmetic charts sometimes make it difficult to perceive the significance of price moves. But if you look at logarithmic, then this is how it's going to look. Now if I change it to logarithmic, So this is my percentage. Look at my y-axis for a second. It is percentage. So this is my logarithmic chart. In my logarithmic chart, I'm able to see the datas in a percentage instead of price. So whenever we are talking about arithmetic, we are talking about the price on the y-axis. And whenever we are talking about logarithmic, we are talking about the percentages instead of the price. All right. So these are the two types of scales you need to keep in mind. So in percentage terms, it becomes easy. So arithmetic scale will always have price in numbers. Number figures are given here. Whereas when you go to your logarithmic scale, here you are given the percentages. So go and check that out by yourself on your trading platform. It's not that important, but we'll go into it in the detail in the further chapters. Now we come to volume. So what exactly is volume? Volume is the number of shares 
options options whatever number of trades which have taken place the buying and selling right so what is the at what volume it has been done is it a high volume is it a low volume has it been done with a considerable amount of volume so volume is something which is extremely important so let's go to my chart let me remove my indicator candlestick chart okay uh just a second this is my let me go back to my regular charts okay now if you look at this i have put the volume chart i hope you can see the volume chart so this is my volume chart in case i don't want to see my volume chart i can always remove my volume chart go to your indicators and add your volumes you just have to go on your indicator and type volume just a second okay so now i got my volume chart so look at this volume will show you this basically it will show you how much quantity of shares have been traded so it is a visual concept here you can see if there is a high volume it supports the trend if there is a low volume it does not support the your trend so if you can look at the volumes there have been spikes at a certain level what do i mean by spikes bigger bars bigger bars of volume so whenever you see high spikes you can assume that a large quantity of um, shares have been bought or sold at this particular zone who are they they will be your hnis high net worth individuals or big big hedge funds and institutional investors basically so that is something which we need to think about volume we will go into the detail of it but that's how you can see the volumes on a chart okay now we come to what an equi volume is now what is equi volume in equi volume we have uh, each candle representing one day of trading right but then there is a progression and each candlestick was of the same width earlier but here the candles are going to be a bit different so that is what is known as an equi volume chart let me see if it's there on uh, trading view okay we do have equi volume charts but all right okay so this is how my equi volume charts look like so they will show you where a higher volume quantity has been bought you can just go and look at it by yourself <clears throat> now we have something known as the volume scale charts or volume bars so volume scaled charts basically is an alternative charting technique here my volume charts are going to be scaled in nature so you can go and search it up and try to understand what a scaled volume chart is look at this here my volume i'm not able to see it because yeah okay so look at this this is my volume scale chart now what do i mean by volume scaled chart it is scaled you can look at the percentage below right you can look at the scale of the volumes this is what is known as my volume scale chart you can go on your trading platform and you can look at all these uh, charts all these various charts try to analyze the volume and try to see all the different types of volume bars and charts i am not getting into the detail of it because we will be seeing them in detail in further chapters in this chapter we just had to see what are the different types of volumes charts now let's conclude this so we have viewed a variety of charts in this and the previous chapter so while each has its own nuances all the methods are ultimately about recording and summarizing data in a format that makes analyzing the information easier the reason why we are looking at the volumes in the first place the reason why we are using this is so that we can analyze the information and interpret the data in a good manner so uh, we can always use any of the volume charts which is comfortable with to us and which matches our you know whatever but usually you use the basic volume charts only so now 
we have considered several options for plotting price information on a chart. The best method for a technician to use will depend on the security that is being traded. So it also depends on what are you exactly trading in. Are you trading in equity? Are you trading in uh, indices or commodities? It totally depends on what exactly you are trading on. And also it depends on the time frame which you are using. So this is something which we have seen. And it is not the creation of the chart that is the end goal. End goal. We create the chart to organize the market data so it can be interpreted and analyzed. So as we look at the trend lines and the visual recognition of the patterns in the upcoming chapters, we will see how the issues of scaling on the X and Y axis will impact our analysis. So that is something which we will be seeing in the further chapters. In this video, we just had to go through the introduction to charts part 2. So I hope this was clear. Now in the next video, I'll be starting with the section 2 which is charts, trends and patterns. This is where the most interesting part begins. So make sure that you have checked the previous videos and in case you haven't then I've linked it in the description box below. Thank you.